Are you looking for an awesome and budget-friendly headset for your live streams on Twitch or YouTube, or just playing games with your community on Xbox, PS4, or PC? Then you're gonna wanna take a look at the Logitech G430 headset, cause it could be the best headset to fulfill all your needs. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild, coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the service that I'm talking about, did you all a favor, put links in the show notes below so make sure you check them out. So I think we can all agree that there is no shortage of headsets on the market. I mean, just do a simple search on Google or Amazon and you'll see there are dozens and dozens. But if you do do a search, you'll notice that the Logitech G430 is kind of near the top of the list for budget-friendly entry-level headset. So let's take a look at this bad boy and how it may be the best headset if you're starting out to suit your needs with live streaming and gaming. The Logitech G430 headset has the capability of 7.1 surround sound, which means when you're playing games, you're fully immersed within the game because it has the capability of doing 360 degree rotation of sound, which is awesome if you like to play games like FPS games where you need to know where sound's coming from or detecting footsteps. I've actually used this headset quite a lot and it does a really good job at this. The headset comes equipped with on-cable controls. On the front, you have your slider for your mute switch, which is great if you have to accidentally cough or sneeze, or perhaps you have to talk to somebody privately that is in your room. This way, nobody has to hear you on your gameplay or your stream. On the side there, you will see a scroll wheel for the volume. You can do volume up or down. This way, you can make on-fly adjustments for your gameplay so you can hear things. And on the back there is a clip to snap onto your clothes, whether it be your shirt or pants there. That way it keeps the controls close to you, so that way you have easy access to make these adjustments. The G430 also has rotating ear cups, which is a feature that doesn't get talked about enough. Most headsets out there will have some type of swivel, but it's pretty minimal. The G430 actually has a huge amount of swivel in there to accommodate a bunch of different head sizes or if you do things like wear glasses on your stream or perhaps headbands or hats, this will be a lot more accommodating because it'll be able to fit and form to your head size. And for an extra side note on the rotating ear cups, they actually have the ability to rotate to a full flat mode, which makes it easier for things like transportation, if you gotta put them in a bag or sleeve or case, this way they have less chance of getting damaged. And also the ability to rotate flat makes it a lot better for when you wanna take your headphones off and rest them around your neck and it's gonna lay flat on your chest. So that way nothing is bumping up against your chin or cheeks. Something that doesn't get noticed a lot, but trust me, you'll like this feature. The headset pads are made of a sports performance cloth-like material, which allows it to be more comfortable and more breathable. It's essentially a perforated material which allows for more surface area, so that way air can ventilate a little bit better within the headset, which is good for long gaming sessions. The G430 headset has one awesome key feature that gets overlooked a lot. It is extremely lightweight. In fact, you may even forget that you're wearing it at certain times. The headset has an adjustable noise canceling microphone on the end of the boom. You can slide the boom up and out of the way and when you're ready to stream, it actually has a small articulating bend to it so that way you can move the microphone into a position that best suits your needs or better picks up your voice depending on what type of streamer or gamer you are. And of course, with the noise canceling headphones, that means the gamers and viewers are gonna be hearing more of you and less of your surrounding area, which is a great feature to have. The Logitech G430 headset works on PS4, PC, and Xbox, but there's an asterisk for Xbox, which we'll get to at the end of this video, and it comes in available in only one color, which is a black and blue, which works for me because those are two of my favorite colors. Now that we got all the key features, how does the microphone sound? Well, let's put it to the test. And here you go. This is exactly how the Logitech G430 headset sounds right out of the box. Now, at no point will I use any audio tools or filters. This is the raw sound you get directly from when you purchase the headset. Now, I may do adjustments with the volume up or down, so that way it doesn't blow anybody's eardrums or you can hear me in post, but those are easy adjustments that you can make 
in your own system or broadcast. Now the cool thing about the Logitech G430 is it actually comes with a USB sound card. Logitech, you did this right. Every headset should come with one of these. Essentially, you take the 3.5 millimeter jacks, you put it into the microphone, you put it to the headset, and you can plug this into a USB, and it allows you to use it that way, which is great for something like a PS4. So right now we're using just the 3.5 millimeter jacks, and we're gonna test out the noise canceling microphone on this. So I'm gonna take off the headset, and I'm gonna speak directly into the front of the microphone and we're gonna see how the fall off is as I start rotating it. So here's the bottom of the mic and now I'm talking directly to the back of the mic. Now I'm talking to directly to the top of the mic and now I'm at the front of the mic and the microphone is only about three inches away from my face. One big problem streamers and gamers generally have is with air pushes or plosives with budget friendly headsets. Now, if you can keep your boom just adjacent, and I say things like, Peter picked a bunch of peppers, it's not really gonna pick up that much air pushing into the mic, which generally blows out the eardrums of your viewers, regulars, or friends that you're playing games with. But it does come with this articulating mic, so you can move it up and down, and you can move it in. Just make sure it's not that close, so when you do, Peter picked a bunch of peppers, you're not pushing air into that microphone. So make sure you find a nice happy medium somewhere over to the side and make sure you adjust that microphone. Now, like I said, the Logitech G430 comes with this USB sound card. Now there isn't gonna be any different with angle of attack or fall off of sound for anything like that versus this versus the 3.5 millimeter, but there will be a sound quality difference. So I'm gonna plug this in so you guys can hear the difference between the 3.5 and the sound card. So the sound that you're hearing now is the Logitech G430 going through the sound card that it comes with. All I had to do was plug in the 3.5 millimeter jacks into that sound card and push it into a USB slot. So you could do like your PS4 or even your PC. So now you can hear the differences between the raw 3.5 and the sound card. Now, if you don't like the sound card, there are some other options which I'll explain in accessories below, but perhaps this might be an easier option for a lot of you people out there like PS4 streamers. So I just want to give you the option of how the differences sound between the two. So what are the pros of the Logitech G430 headset? Well, my favorite one, like we stated before, is how lightweight it is. I've gamed with this thing for hours and hours on end, and I don't have to adjust the headset much because it's so lightweight. It doesn't crimp in on my ears too much. It doesn't push down on my head at all. The lightweight makes it versatile for long streaming sessions. Pro number two is all about the 7.1 surround sound that you get out of this headset. If you were gonna get 7.1, you generally have to pay up in a headset, but this is a budget friendly and entry level headset. Now there is a caveat to the 7.1. It only works on PC and it only works when you download the Logitech driver. So if you want 7.1, you're gonna have to use it only for PC and make sure you get those drivers. Pro number three is all about the cable control. I love actually having cable controls. You know, it does kind of suck not having the ability to boom up to mute, which is nice that you see in a lot of more expensive microphones and headsets out there. But having a nice unitasker of a control that's very close and easy to use, you know, it's just a simple swipe up and down to mute the mic. The scroll wheel works very easily and it clips very easily to your clothes. This is one of the better controllers I've seen on a cable. Pro number four is all about how the headset cups are actually washable. You can remove the actual cups just like this and you can wash them, which is great because a lot of my other headsets get pretty grimy and sweaty throughout my gaming sessions or streaming sessions. So it's nice that I can take these off and wipe them down or throw them in the washing machine and get them all nice and clean. And this is a super bonus if you're a female out there, if you wear makeup or foundation or have any type of makeup around your face, or if you're like me, who's a boy who wears pomade or gel, these things will get grimy at times, which will break them down. And you wanna make sure that your headset's around for a long time because it's an investment for your gameplay and stream. So it's really dope that you can do these and they just simply just go right back on. Con number one has to do with the ear cup padding. Just like we said before, they have a sports performance cloth on this, but you know, at times when I have long gaming sessions, I don't feel like the heat escapes that well compared to something like my Sennheiser Game One or HyperCloud headset. I feel like the heat does get a little bit trapped. It still ventilates and breathes fine, but the thing that kind of bothers me is it gets a little sticky even though it has this 
perforation sports light material. So sometimes I'm actually pulling the headset off just to let air flow or it gets a little sticky is something you may want to be aware of if you're into really, really, really long gaming sessions. Since we're talking about the earmuffs, let's stay on that. Con number two is all about how due to this perforation material that it has here on the sports cloth, it does get dirty fairly easy. Like we said before, if you're a female out there that wears foundation or makeup, or if you're a male like me who has things like pomade or gel in your hair, these things at time will be rubbing up against your skin or hair. And due to the fact that it has this texture, it pulls a lot of those things off of your face or your hair and it gets caught up in here. I've had to clean these a few times, but just to let you know, the nice thing is that you can wash them like we said earlier, but take notice, you may have to clean these more often than not. Now, if you're interested in owning a Logitech G430 headset, it has wild price ranges. It can be as high as 80 USD all the way down to 30 USD. And due to these wild ranges, I would say a fair price is anything from 60 USD down. I got mine for right around 35 bucks, so anytime it's on a massive sale, which I'll always let you know if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or on my YouTube channel, I would say snag one up. It's always great to have a backup headset in case your other one breaks or if you even want to make this your main headset. Now, if I did convince you to get a Logitech G430 headset, I'm only going to recommend one accessory to maybe pick up. And again, it's only optional. The Logitech sound card that it comes with is good, but it's not great. If you like to have a little bit better sound through a USB connector for like your PS4, I would recommend picking up a Sabient sound card. Again, I'll put links in the description below. Bonus tip time. If you're interested in using the Logitech G430 headset and you're an Xbox user, you're actually gonna need a little extra piece of equipment, which nobody really seems to ever talk about. You're gonna need an Xbox adapter, so that way you can plug this unit in to the bottom of the controller, so that way you can use it to the full abilities. Again, I will put links in the show notes below for all you Xbox users out there. Double bonus tip time. If you're the type of streamer that likes to hear your voice, which is essentially a pass-through, you can do it on the Logitech G430s, but it only works on PCs. You can't do it on Xbox and you can't do it on PS4, but it's a nice feature to have if you're into hearing your own sound checks or quality coming through the headset. If you can score a Logitech G430 headset on the cheap, I would say definitely pick up one. It's good to have a backup because you never know when something's gonna break on you. And it's not that bad for an entry level headset. So if you see it on sale, snag it up. If you guys like this type of content and you want me to do more product reviews on how you can be a better content creator or streamer, hey, you know what to do. Leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do to make a video on that. If you'd like to help me and this channel grow, you can follow me on this YouTube channel and follow me on over at Twitter and Instagram. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wildforgames. I will see you all in the next stream support video coming up real soon. Take care all, peace.